y'all welcome back to my video so i didn't do an intro for this one because you can already tell from the thumbnail that i am doing a protective style and my daughter's here there she is there eating what are you eating madison oh, I was, oh she's no i don't think you're eating granola okay she says she's eating granola but i think it's pretzels and peanut butter so my daughter is here she's going to she's like a a guest commentator i guess you would say your guest here anywho so i am doing her hair it's, it's sunday so sunday is hair day this is where i wash and do everyone's hair sometimes my husband's i do mine's my my son and my daughter's so i do my daughter's hair first because obviously from what you can see she has a lot of hair so I've already washed, conditioned, and deep conditioned, and detangled. So we are, well, what I'm doing now is detangling her hair and sectioning it off. So I detangle her hair twice, once with the conditioner, and then once without it. So that's all the hair that she shedded. She doesn't share that much hair. So now I'm just taking down her hair. So now I am just taking so now I'm just down taking her hair that I've already detangled. And it's going to be a big, beautiful fro. So the hairstyle that I'm doing on her hair today is a um, protective style that's one of my favorites. It's full of twists. I try to keep twists in everyone's hair as is more gentle and forgiving on the hair than it is than the braids are. And normally this process takes me a little over an hour to do her hair I remember when I started doing Madison's hair she was two when she was out of the TWA phase and she was the first time she would just cry and cry and I was telling I had to have a pep talk with her I'm like Madison we have to get this done I have to do your hair so I would give her a snack and I'll put something on TV. What we usually watch is Stella and Sam most of the time. And she would just sit there and just be very patient with me. Right, Madison? Yes. Do you like getting your hair done every week? Mm. Only when I trust you. Can I trust you? You trust me to do your hair? Good. So right now I am parting just the, the middle part of her hair. Like the crown part to... Um, I'm not parting all the way to the crown, just the, just in the middle. You'll see in a minute. And I'm also going to part from ear to ear, going straight across. It's a lot of speed ups here because I usually take my time to part because I try to make the lines as straight as I can, but not as perfect as I can because if you've seen my other videos, I don't really care about straight lines. As long as it looks okay, it looks neat, then that's all I care about. And as you can see, my hair is deep conditioning. I'm always the last person to do my hair. I used to do my hair like late at night when um, everyone is asleep. My children are asleep and my husband's doing something. And I just sit down and I just, on the floor, put on a nice movie and start um, doing my hair, which is like m the best part of my Sunday. Of course, besides hanging out with my kids and my husband, the second best part. So now I'm going to twist her hair going up and I'm just sectioning right now. I'm going to use the um, African Shea Mix and the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner, the Argon Oil one. I believe I showed that already in the camera. Madison, when do you think you'll be ready to start doing your own hair? Well, you know you have to start doing your hair eventually, right? When you get a little bit older. Well, yeah, but you, t you never teach me how to do my hair. I have. I've taught you on Aisha. Remember your doll? I know, but I only do it. Well, that's me teaching you. Because that's how I learned when I was a little girl. I learned how to do hair on my doll's hair. What do you tell me? Um. Kenya. Kenya? Is she a girl? Who's a girl? Kenya dolls were very popular in the 80s. 
So I finally have me a king doll. Uh, 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 is my Aisha doll a king doll? No, she's Aisha. She's an American girl doll. You're American? Yeah, we're in America, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now I, I twisted all of the hairs in the back all the way up and I twisted it all the way to the ends but I didn't make the twist too too tight because I'm going to take them down again anyway. So now I'm just going to the front of the hair and going to the middle kind of at a diagonal and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Yeah, you made a Valentine's card for Daddy. It's very beautiful. Yeah, and it says, I love Daddy because he is so nice. Mm -hmm. And Mommy put a nice little egg shirt. Because he likes his mom. And so I do, but I can't show you that. No, because they can't see. So what you see when I use the African Shea Mix, I um, put some on the scalp and I also put some on my fingers, my forefingers, and I rub it on the inside of the hair. That way I don't have to keep parting her hair to grease her scalp. I'll just smoosh it in, like smoosh it in there, well I smoosh it in there, but you know, rub it in there inside of her hair. So on the middle part, I'm not. I'm just going to do regular twists, regular two-strand twists instead of going at it from the scalp because you're not going to see. Um, you're not going to see that part anyway. It's going to be in a curly tail. A pro an important thing about moisturizing, you have to make sure that your hair is moisturized from the ends to the roots. The majority of the time, I try to make sure that I moisturize from the roots. Not the roots, but from the ends going down to the roots. And I'm just so proud of her. She's just so patient just sitting here. So now I'm doing the front. And the very front of the hair, I'm going to do three small twists going back. So I'm parting it again. Mommy has this bear named Elizabeth. Oh gosh, she's talking about Elizabeth, my bear, that I've had since I was, what, 10? So now I'm, I break the rest of the hair, I part it down the middle and I'm doing diagonal braids to the middle of the part. So all of the hair is twisting out in the front and I'm going to braid it to the back. Well, not to the back, but you know, to the middle of the hair so it can sit up high. So the first three braids that I did in the very, very beginning, I braided that uh, probably like four times and then I joined the other braids in later. After I do this, I'm going to put all of her hair in a curly puff and then I'm going to untwist the twist that I put in there. Untwist the ends if you say. And I don't use a rubber band, I use a hair tie which is just ribbon and I made and I just tied the ends which is much safer on the hair. Hmm? About the video? Because you can't see anything in the bedroom. Let's talk about the video. Okay, so... Um, so... I'm standing on the chair. You're standing? You mean you're sitting. Okay. I, I mean I'm sitting on my chair. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Um, you know the video is about to be over. I know. Okay. Okay, so now I'm sitting probably watching the TV. There's your curly puff. Yep, and mommy made my curly puff. Mm -hmm. So now it. Like she does. So now in the next clip, I'm going to show you her four hair. So that's the front, as I was showing you, and the side and the back. And I just love this hairstyle ever since she was two years old. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and click the notification button. That way you know the next time I upload a video. You want to say bye, Madison? Bye. <laughs> bye.